Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are here at Midway Antique Mall near Columbia, Missouri. Well, I just found some Tupperware coasters. Tupperware is really collectible, and the coasters are hard to find. I mean, I don't really see them all out there, but we've got their, uh, there's one, two, three, there's six of them in here for $3.50. I think that is really good, so we'll christen the cart, and hopefully we'll continue to find some, uh, <laughs> There's a water bottle in the cow. I found this really cool conch shell and it is five dollars. I like the colors. I think the, the colors are really, really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and pick it up for five. I think that's not too bad. And I will put it in the cart and keep going. I just spotted this. This is only seven dollars. Look at this. It is this opalescent white milky glass. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up for $7. I think that is really cool. And I like the, like the gold on it. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Well, I just spotted this really cool blown, peat. well, it's pressed glass, but then it has the ruffled edge. For 16, I think that's actually pretty good for this. It's a good large size. You see that? Yeah, 16. So I will add that to the cart somehow. I am in a huge part of this mall right now. It is so, so big. So like, here's just like the roof line of it. And it goes all over there. I'm all like, I'm closer to the edge. So, ooh, a steak and shake mug. Ah, uh, they have 16 on it. Yeah, I already have that one anyway, but they're fun. Buffalo China, yeah. There's the Buffalo China mark. Sometimes it'll say Buffalo China, other times it'll just have a picture of a buffalo. Here's a restaurant where Leaven, Leavenworth, UCT. That's 16 as well. Hmm. I just spotted this really pretty milk glass plate. And this one is interesting because it still has some of the flowers on it. Uh, these were mostly all hand painted, um, like the plates and the little covered dishes and things like this. And oftentimes they'll be worn away like this and sometimes completely gone paint so we've got some of the flowers here it's eight dollars and I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up it's old it's like 120 years old so it is beautiful you could put it on a vanity or all sorts of things so I'll stick this in here and we will keep looking I just found a booth full of crystals and here is how light not that cool it catches the light very iridescent this is $19 for this prism. There's also, ironically, one for $19, and it's much shorter right there. They have all different kinds in here. A lot of them are in, in here, so I can't get to them. Weirdly, weirdly, and some of them are cheaper, like $14 compared to $20. Hmm. Quartz, look at these. Fluorite, rainbow fluorite, so pretty. I think I'm gonna get this one though, pretty sure. All right, so I ended up getting one of the towers, this really cool one right here. So I will end up selling that one eventually. I thought it was really pretty. And I'm continually looking for some deals, although it's kind of tricky here. It's, it's kind of hard. I haven't found a lot of great deals, but I found some. So that's good. And we've got a little bit, we've got a couple rows left, I think. So maybe we can find some interesting items. Some decoys, duck decoys. I just found these fish right here. They have $10 on all of them. Now, I was looking them over, but it appears that this blue one is broken right on the tip there, but the other ones are good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them. So we'll, we, we'll be out of one. Well, maybe I'll still sell them as a set of, wait, one, two, three, four, yeah. And we'll just say that, you know, the one of them is broken, but I think they're adorable. Hand blown little fish. I'm gonna get those. Isn't that wonderful? So this one is $12 and I'm gonna buy it. It's an antique trinket or jewelry box. Adorable. It's in great vintage shape 
and I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the cart. I think that's a great price. These go for 40 plus dollars, so I finally found one. They're so hard to pick up at antique stores because people usually have them priced the way they're, the way they're supposed to. So um, it's actually my very first one that I've been able to find. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. All right, so I'm not sure if there's anything up front left. I'm thinking that there actually might be a whole wing up there that we haven't went to yet. So we're gonna head that way. We ended up doing the entire back area. And this is literally all I was able to get, but that's okay. Except maybe there's, oh, wait a minute, what is this? What are you? Paper mache, oh, Mexico. Oh, okay, it's just paper mache. Got an ice bucket without a, without a lid. An Ohio art globe bank for 35. That's, that's probably one of the highest I've ever seen for that globe bank. I see them pretty regularly too. Let's see. <laughs> I don't think I see anything else in this booth, so we will continue. What I just spotted. They're $18 each. I'm gonna get all three of them. Those little red birds of happiness by Titan Art Glass. I think they're like cardinals. Let's see if there's anything else I want. There's a little blue bird for 10, but I won't do that one. Ooh, look at that whale. That's 15. I think I'm just gonna get the red birds. Yeah, that'll be good. Ooh, I've been looking for a crystal vase. I don't know if that's the one I want though. 25, I think I want an old one. All right, so I just finished up here at Midway Antique Mall and this place was large. So if you're ever in the area and you've got like multiple hours, <laughs> definitely stop by here because there is a lot inside. All right, so it is now a few days later and I thought since the shopping portion was so small and, and short in this video that we would uh, circle back here at the shop. The area that we use to ship the items out of and this is where I hold items to sell on my Friday night live sales and my Monday uh, daytime sales. So this is all things that will come up eventually um, for sale. I know I get, I've get, I get asked that in different ways. They're thinking I have an eBay, people think I have an eBay store or an Etsy and I used to, but I found it's just much easier to sell directly through YouTube straight to consumer and bypass all of the additional fees that go with it. So I thought it'd be fun to pull items from my next sale. I'll pull some of them right now. Well, we just showed this. This was, this was, in, a, this was in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up on the sale. My beautiful Howlite. And keeping with the crystal theme, how about this amethyst really pretty piece here? These do well for me. So I'll have the two. And then while we're at it, we'll go ahead and put this in this jewelry box. Now we've been selling things in the back. So if you're not aware, I do have a whole front area to the shop and it's not for, I'll arrange those later to make them look nice. Uh, but the, we can go up there real quickly. I'll just peek, we'll just peek in. It's cold, that's why. So I usually will have the, the sale over there on the, on the shelf but it's just like really, really cold out here. So that's where a lot more inventory is out there. And I've got this other front room here. So it's mostly all for storage. Okay, it's too cold, closing it up. It's mostly all for storage. I've, I've opened, I've got a safe door. I've opened a few times, but it's, uh, uh, this, this building has mostly been for, warehousing purposes and shipping things out of. So that's the main thing that I use it for. I'm trying to think, ooh, 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 lucite candlesticks. We'll sell the lucite candlesticks. These are really popular. We'll sell those. This blue one here, I might as well sell that too since I just bought it. And the fish. Yeah, we'll do that too. See, so I'm just pulling things. I'm just pulling things for the sale that I think would be fun. And I just bought this. Might as well just sell everything I just bought. 
This is so cool. It kind of reminds me of like India has that sort of like a Taj Mahal or something that kind of gives me that vibe. Okay, so I finished pulling items for this Friday night sale and I ended up doing 30 things. Now this, none of this is arranged properly and I haven't did the next step which, yet, which is uh, making sure I take all my price tags off and wipe them down. So there's like still strings and stuff, but I'll just kind of briefly go over what I chose for the sale. I've got this nice opalescent diamond vase, really pretty in the blue. I picked up a piece of Murano. So that's art glass. I love the colors on this piece. And there's the adventuring. Oh, that little, oh, that is such a really pretty one. Uh, of course you saw that. We've got a crumb catcher back here that I love the colors of this. It's like a little crumb dust, or it's a little crumb pan. Uh, we've got, of course, the uh, blown ruffle top uh, swung vase. Little hippo bank, it's metal. First National Bank. I picked up this uh, Art Nouveau type brooch. Pink milk glass. The Lucite candlesticks. This is Aki. No, this is just regular Japan. So Japan, oh, he was like a fun little goober. Uh, the amethyst. We've got this really pretty bird. The jewelry casket. The carnival glass. I love this one. This is like a sunflower. And it might be Northwood. I can't remember, but it's beautiful. Went ahead and added pillowcase set back there. And then up here we have one of these uh, paint by number metal little trash cans. Great for like an office, it's good size. We have the Dragonware Moriyagi uh, with the enameling, really, really cool vase. This is a wall climbing cat, pick that up. We've got this, it's, it's just adorable. It's to hold your glasses. It's a, it's really, it's a really well done piece, hand painted. This is something that I've been waiting to sell. I just, I just love it. It's of course a marriage, but I think it's adorable. I think they did a great job putting them together. So we have an Art Nouveau a brass stand and then this, is it? Yeah, Nippon. And then the Nippon like nut dish. But it works so well. Like the painting does actually mostly stop there. So it kind of sets in there nicely. Um, good job, whoever put that together. Um, these are like a pot metal. They're just figurines of the flamingos. So I thought those are really cool. They're older. This is left in, it's a poodle figurine. And then this one is just, well, it's plastic. It's Hong Kong. I'm selling them together. And then we've got the Uncle Sam's cash register metal. I love this little vase. It's an ear, it's a carnival glass in the marigold. And it's, I just, the size of it is ridiculous. It's amazing. So the conch shell, the, the, uh, the plastered, the plaster, the plastered, the plastered box. It's a, it's, um, cedar. So probably for chocolates. A lot of these boxes were, has really great age on it. It's old. Very, very cool. Quasine, sugar, or <laughs> sugar and creamer, <laughs> salt and pepper. I love that. So you have a salt cellar here and then your sugar and that sets right on top. Love that. And it has the little defined cells on it. So pretty. This is a Zodiac dish. I love that. It's brass. And then I've got a lithograph back there. A really pretty, like an old countryside with the, with the, um, whatever you call that walkway and the archway and everything. So yeah, I like what I picked up for this Friday sale. All right, so like I said, I still have to wipe all these things down, rearrange them so they look nice, take photographs, put them on the socials, and, uh, and that'll be in preparation for this Friday night's live sale. So if you are wanna, if you wanna watch along, you can. It's at 6.30 p.m. Central here on YouTube on the channel, uh, and you can buy things at that same time. And if you're not sure how it works, I have, you can look back on the channel itself and you can see the uh, older, the past sales that we've done and you can just watch one maybe and you'll see kind of how it goes, uh, how the flow of it works and everything. But I will wrap this up here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.